morning, welcome to day two. And uh, we just left the Ibis Hotel behind us and we're heading to Hull train station for the uh, 805 to uh, London St Pancras. So let's hope this goes well. Train station's up ahead. It's not very far. It's a bit foggy this morning. Let's turn the camera around. Oh, there's a spoon's up there. <laughs> Didn't notice that. Right, we're in the train station. We haven't passed it. I think it's on platform six, but we better just check. Here we are. Train on the left here now. Oh, I can't go on yet. Well, this is our train. I thought there'd be more people waiting for this than what there is. Okay, we've still got 20 minutes. We're in decent time. Train heading out to Doncaster. Class 170. So that's what's uh, the signal. That's uh, a bit unexpected. Could go back home on this one, couldn't we? But we're not doing. Straight to Cottingley. This is it, 1A92, I think it was 1A92, all to St Pancras. A little bit juxtaposed for the Midland Main Line, but uh, it'll do us all right. First carriage, because we're first class. Service to London St Pancras. That's a line to Scarborough. There's the curve now. This service will be calling at Brough, Howden, Selby, and London St Pancras. And that will be road curve. The next stop will be Brough. This is it. For your safety and security, this train is fitted with CCTV. Bit of a shine there. Right, this is the first stop. We're off. It a bit, which has spoiled it a bit from its original stone platform. There's a 
a good few on the opposite side getting on. I can. <laughs> Not far off Wrestle now. And the River Derwent. So it's Wrestle. And you'll see the River Der the Wrestle Castle there that what's left of it. what I expected. Well, it must be to expect it slightly worse. I think the fog's eased a bit now. Approaching Selby. Which means, of course, crossing the River Ouse. Selby. If you are leaving the train at Selby, please ensure you have all your luggage and parts and belongings. And please mind the step down from the train onto the so there will be the next station stop. That's high. That's very high, is that? Bridge. There's a few getting on the opposite side, so not as busy as I thought it would be at this station. Now, the next official stop now is London St Pancras, but uh, it's got to stop at Doncaster for operational reasons. Selby now, you can see the lines of Leeds and Micklefield. Go the way to the right. Must <coughs> have to go take the main line now, here, don't we? Well, that's the lines of Micklefield, Leeds and York. This train will be going on a diversionary route today due to engineering work on the East Coast Main Line, therefore it is a longer journey. Fair class can be found in coaches E and pass B at the front of the train. Toilets are located at the end of each coach. And for your safety and security, CCTV is in operation and throughout the train. Please store luggage in the luggage rack provided, following the cabin stored in the overhead rack for the seat. For due to safety reasons, doors and aisles must remain clear for your luggage at all times. Catering is available and will be made shortly. This is Selby Canal Curve. Please do keep an eye on the belongings, and if you do anything suspicious, please Now there's a moderate shine on that. It's a bridge over the canal shortly. Coming up to the East Coast Mainline diversion route now of 1983, which is technically the mainline. So there's a possibility you could put the pantograph up for a bit here in the Doncaster. Whether they will do or not, I don't know. <laughs>
this is the Leeds Ghoul line here now. Pontypratt line. Coming up, coming up to Doncaster. And that's the flyover bridge there. Hexthorpe Bentley. to be stopping even though it's not a book stop it's only to pick up a conductor's driver to take us around the Midland Main Line from what I've been led to believe Good morning everyone and welcome to this whole train's closing service My name is Spotters out there. So, although I think we're stopping here, we're not. It's an official stop. We shall see when we get to Mexborough. We will either go by Swinton or not. Got the 56s. Right, so this is the start of the diversion now proper. And I think that that is the River Don. It's not a very clean river, even more so in flood. Now, are we going to go over Kilnhurst or Swinton? <coughs> so, this is Mexborough. Same train said he was going by Swinton, but it doesn't ultimately matter. Either will do, so that's the main line to Swinton. So we're going by a slightly lesser used route down here. This is where trains from Doncaster to Sheffield used to come a lot more often years ago before that connection to Swinton was put back in. Inside the canal now. Not sure what canal it is. 
It's just a canalised river in effect, is this? It's um, the Kilhurst Cut. up ahead is where we've done the rail replacement services in the past. Up there. Anyway, it's all this big sandwich. Yeah. Isn't that nice? Mm. There we go. Old, old road. Through so platform one. I think as it was at Rotherham Masborough. So that's the main line by uh, Meadowhall to Sheffield. So we're going direct to Chesterfield now. I haven't done this in this direction since goodness knows when. Done it southbound, northbound a few times, but never southbound. Let alone in a diverted service. So that goes round to Meadowhall and Sheffield. Cross over the line out for Rotherham Central very shortly. That is not it. That is it there. That used to lead into Tinsley. Treaton north, I think. Catcliffe and then Treaton south. <coughs> As it was, I think. Some bits of track still left at one point, but not anymore, unless that's a bit over there. Country's coming this way and missing Sheffield, couldn't you really? Be quicker, at least a derby. So this is Baton Junction. This is a little more common now when you have diverted services because you can actually get in and out of Sheffield going this way. This is a bridge that goes over the top here with no floor in it. Which is where we saw a couple of 37s about 20 odd years ago. Barrow Hill now. We just missed the connection to the uh, Preservation Society in the Roundhouse, whatever. So we're alongside the Chesterfield Canal now, which is just down there. You can't see it, but it's just down there. We'll soon see the uh, the new road by Dronfield coming in shortly. It's a 
the canal's going to go underneath the Norman. That's it there. Oh, more of a river than a canal is that one. Canal's on the other side. So we're going to go through what platform 4 would be at Chesterfield. It isn't built yet, if it ever does. <coughs> Only for early. Seems to be going rather slow. Twenty yards away from Tapton Junction now. There we are, that's the main line over there behind them. What's it? So this is the main line out of Sheffield. I think it is a bit quicker going this way from Rotherham. So you'll see the uh, twisted spire very shortly. Is, uh, yeah. I'm not sure what the speed is on here. I think it'll be 60, I to guess. So we're not going to get to do this very often, non-stop through Chesterfield. I think it's 95, there it says. And there's one in the down main, platform one. This is platform three, which doesn't see a right lot of use despite them building it. Just you see the spire up there. You see Benley Vide up there. We've uh, walked around here a while back over that footbridge. The new Ilkston station, which we have done before. Coming up to Trowel Junction. <coughs> this is where the line turns left into Nottingham. Or you can go straight up and go round by Beeston into Nottingham as well. So now it's Trowel Junction. the M1 shortly. So again we're on a bit of rare track now. They could build another station down here called Stapleford and Sandy Acre, but whether that'll ever happen or not, because it means they'll leave Nottingham so we have to take a different route. Stapleford and Sandy Acre station. Probably just south of the next bridge. Yeah, I think this is where the old station used to be. Old freight. Depot now. Oh, 
That was an open day back in 1998. Not sure just where we got off the train because it was a temporary platform just for us to get on and off for that day, for that weekend. Looks like a lot of stored locomotives here. Come past here very often. So for 25 years ago since that open weekend anyway, so moving over to the left off the main line. Looks like we're doing the high level goods lines. Bit of a bridge now, the level crossing just down there on the main line. Over there somewhere, they just see it. That's where I expected being. It's still possible to get into Nottingham from this alignment. Turning sharp left on what you call Meadow Lane Curve. That is that now. There. That's that. This is a new scratch, is this now? Definitely. I've never done this line before, to my knowledge. So going over the top of the main line into Nottingham, or out of Nottingham, which is this here. Oh no, no, Midland Mainline, Trent Valley's west coast. No, I mean the, the, the river Trent that comes... Yeah, we're crossing that now here. Yeah, so we're still in that, in the valley of Trent. In effect, yeah. 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 No, that was like, this is the, this is the river Trent coming up now. And it's rather flooded. Yeah, I thought I recognised that. Uh, Look at the water coming <laughs> That's incredible, isn't it? Look at it. Red Hill Tunnels. This is the relatively new East Midlands Parkway station. Yeah, it's got platforms on all lines. I've been here before a while back, didn't we? We did a walk from uh, Long Eaton, if I remember rightly. Now we've stopped uh, just north of Loughborough. Because we are early, look at this. Real time trains there, minus 15. That's pretty good, pretty impressive, is that? Now we've crossed over onto the up main. We're approaching Loughborough. Loughborough Midland, as it would have been. Some people pronounced it. This is a bridge. Ah, oh, that's the bridge there. It's in now. Still a lot of work to do though to connect it. Approaching Leicester now. We're not stopping here, so I don't know what the speed is straight through. There was one in front of us earlier, but that's gone, so... Let's go to 
this 47 is on the opposite side. Straight through Leicester without stopping. <clears throat> Can't get a direct train from Leeds here now, can you at all, well, sadly? wires now, I don't think we're using them though, because it still feels to be on the diesel power. Market Harbour coming up now, this is the new Market Harbour station of course. Which has been streamlined from the original. Approaching Kettering. There should be uh, an unscheduled stop here, just for uh, crewing purposes, I think. Whether we'll do it, although we are slowing down now, so we're well, actually minutes until late, I think, as well. No power service, so. <coughs> Wherever Sheffield. So I think we've been round here a few years ago, was it? So this is Kettering, not to be confused with catering. Don't. Uh, you know, like with Victor Meldrew, you said you were in catering. In catering. Thank you very much. Any preference? There's a river around here somewhere. Yeah, it's there. It's just a massive flooding near the village of Oakley, north of Bedford. Bedford where the original start of the overhead wires was on this route, so they extended it further north. Luton Airport Parkway. And this is more of a parkway <coughs> station for the airport, but it's only a few hundred yards up to the left. Kind of little shuttle service, a people mover or something that does that now. Still don't think we've penetrated the M25 yet. Coming up to that new station now, where we're going to come back to a little bit later. Then cross west. Somewhere here. I think they've realigned the track as well. Yeah, this is it. <coughs> Brent Cross West. Right. We've made it. London St Pancras on Hull trains. Santa Class is well patronised. We should have on platform one, but we haven't come into platform one for some reason. I don't know why. It's completely empty. Right. There's a piano somewhere down here that's been involved in some controversy of recent. Oh, there it is. All right now. I'm not going to be taking down that video, I don't think. Why should they?
Right, D on the signal, which means Midland Main Line North, down. And here's our train pulling in right now. So this should say St Albans City on it. It does. Some of them have actually been coming in with check station screens. It's a bit bad is that the driver doesn't know where he's going. Right, Hendon. This is a new tick. When we get out. Don't think they use the fast line platforms by the looks of things. But what we will do while we're here now, the whole train service that we came on is due back in a matter of about 10 minutes or so. So before we head off, we'll, uh, we'll watch that go through. It's not your everyday occurrence on the Midland Main Line. So this is heading off to St Albans, St Albans City. Yeah, there it is, whole train service on the Midland Main Line. This is the train we came south with, heading back to Hull. Right, next job now is to walk to the new station at Red Cross West. I've just come off the main A5 up there, down here, and there's some lakes I'd like to have a look at down here, rather than just go straight to Brent Cross directly. I thought we'd check these lakes out. It's not swimmable, but uh, well, it might be in better weather, better temperatures, but that is a narrow bridge, is that, isn't it? Well, there's traffic lights on it. I'm surprised there wasn't a width restriction sign. I didn't notice one. Ah! Um, very little water in, isn't there? Very little water. Grief. To think that there's everywhere flooded that we've been on the main line coming from south from Sheffield and Leicester and whatever, there's so little water here. This is quite incredible. It's pretty much the same on the other side as well. Well, I'm quite, uh, quite shocked by that. There is a path here, but uh, I'm not sure exactly where it goes to. And I don't want to go too far out of my way, so uh, I think about to head back. Right, back on the A5, but I think we'll cross over to the opposite side, because that's where the station is. It's hard to believe this is the same road, it goes all the way to Hollyhead. Day 5, 55, partly. Right, just walk from down there where that uh, line of traffic is, up onto this bridge. And you can see there's a viaduct here with the Midland Main Line on. We're down here now. Quite a lot of businesses up here now. Dunnell Mill Smith screw fix, tops tiles. We only need a new train station. EMR service heading for St Pancras. Made it to Brent Cross West and we're on the uh, lockdown side, aren't we? Let's uh, go into the main part of the station up here. It's absolutely slinging it down out there, so I had to come inside. Right. This is all fairly new. I think it only opened just before Christmas, didn't it? Remember Jeff Marshall was here, I think on opening day. So this looks like actually an official walkway across the railway. So to get a train, we're going to go through there, but we'll do that in just a few moors. We've got some trains, there's one in platform two now heading for, heading north. What a horrible day, weather-wise. 
Let's have a look at this entrance. Right, this is the uh, eastern side of the line and you can go over that way to the shopping centre somewhere, I think it's sort of over that way. Can't really go out anyway because it's just so absolutely pissing it down. Let's get back inside and get next to Hearn Hill. 13, 26, you won't get that one. 13, 41 will do. It's raining in here. It's supposed to be undercover, it's raining in. The station has quite clearly got four platforms, but uh, I don't think three and four are used that much because they're on the fast lines. And uh, they've been realigned of the fast lines to fit that island platform in. So I remember seeing this station partly constructed when I did a, did a drive over that bridge over there. So I remember seeing it partly constructed this. Anyway, there's a train coming in now, I think it's gonna I think it's gonna stop here. It's a little bit late is this one. So we'll go right through to Hearn Hill with this one. Barrington, City Thames Link, London Blackfriars, Elephants and Castle, Loughborough Junction, and Herne Hill. First class accommodation is not available on the train. Across West. Take Cricklewood. I thought we'd just nip out here to kill time and take another station. Let's uh, exit briefly. We're not to walk anywhere from here, just nip out and nip back on. Cricklewood, tick. So we're not going to go very far here. There's a David Lloyd club up there. So it's counted now, we've gone outside the station. So it's definite tick. Right, here's our next train. Not sure if it's the one we plan to get or not, but uh, we'll get on it and go right through to Hearn Hill now. Onto the Chatham main line. Check stations, that's just totally wrong, is that, isn't it? Should know where it's going. Just left St Pancras Lower Level, and this is the old King's Cross Thameslink station, which is still largely intact. Hasn't been used for quite some time. One coming in the way. Just leave it Blackfriars. The only station that's not north or south of the river, but both. It's right above the river. Accessible from either side. I think it's Elephant and Castle next. Elephant and Castle. Kind of the southern terminus of the Bakerloo line. So it ever gets extended, if it has. Been talking about it for years. So Loughborough Junction is next, which used to be a limited stops, a limited service station with very few trains calling at it. But I think it's got quite a regular service now. It amazes me how they managed to build this railway to be quite honest, but I must admit all these buildings, a lot of them wouldn't have been here in the 19th century. Right, coming up to Loughborough Junction now. Not sure what the arrangement is here now, because there's a, there's a right turn and a left turn and we want straight ahead. The right turn towards Brixton is like a, well, like a freight line with no regular passenger service on it, it's red on the map. I think ECS movements use it quite a lot. So that's that. Yeah, it's got a reasonably good shine on it. Or is it just one island platform or not? I think it is. Fly over here now with the Beckham Rye to Victoria line. 
I'm going to go underneath. So the next station now is Hearn Hill and we terminate there. Coming up to Hearn Hill now and we're joining the Chatham Main Line now out of Victoria. So we should be on platform four. Presuming they can reverse it off this platform straight back up towards St Pancras and St Albans. Yeah, that's the signal. Should be fairly easy to cross because I'll platform three for the next train. Thanks. Are we think to her hill or not? Right, so now whether we have done it or not, this is Hearn Hill. Tick. Not sure I've been off here before or not, but it seems we've got about 10-15 minutes to spare. I thought we'd make sure I've done it. This is the main entrance I think. Let's have a little wander. I'm glad I've seen this. Brockwell Park. This is amazing isn't it? Look at it. I bet this is busy and in nice weather. It's a bit messy though some of it. This is great. Never been off at Hearn Hill before. To my knowledge, that's why I've ticked it. And we're looking back there, that's where the station is, where just to the left of the bridge. We're going to have to. Oh, somebody's washing a dog there because it's got absolutely well and truly shitted up. So, yeah. This is amazing. How it's managed to escape being built on. Rush it, is it? Southeastern local service. Right, so that's Hearn Hill ticked off. So there's a line that branches off to the right, which we won't take because that goes up to Tulse Hill. See the part there, look. That's nice. I might, if I can, I'll go there again from Tulse Hill if I ever take that one. Oh, the Tulse Hill line's unavailable, look. It's out of service. I noticed some buses operating to Stretton, I think it was. Mm. We're going underneath uh, the line coming down from London Bridge very shortly. Because there's a little tunnel on that somewhere, isn't there? Right, that's it there, I think. Yeah, that's it. This is Sydenham Hill. We've done this one before, if I remember rightly now. And this leads straight into a tunnel. Fairly long tunnel as well, I think. Coming up to Beckenham Junction, and this is the line from Birkbeck, and it also has a tram line alongside it, which is the one that's electrified. We're going to go over the top of the Hayes line now, which is down there, and there's a connection from that line that comes up on the opposite side. Not much use as that now, I don't think. This is Beckenham Junction Station now. Not sure where the tram station is. That's a bit further round, I think. <laughs> right. Bromley South. Uh, I think we've ticked this station already, but we haven't ticked Bromley North. So... Uh, we haven't got time to walk over there now, unfortunately. So let's just uh, head off down this way. I think we need to be on the other side, onto the uh, main lines. This is our train here. Just surprised us a little bit, coming in as quick as it did. Just leaving Swanley now. And this is where the line splits off now to go towards Oxford and Ashford and Batten Ball, that way, Seven Oaks. Some rather complex point work just here, and 
That's the line down there. Now that goes to Offord. It's just a twin track line now towards Chatham. There's a connection here at Farningham Road to the Eurostar line, which we did some years ago. It's probably going to be a bit rusty now. Falkham Junction, I think it is. Yeah, this is it here. Oh, that is rusty. Nothing's used that for quite some time. This is Longfield. We need to do this one. If ever do this, we'll have a look at that line and walk back to Farningham Road if we can. It won't be today, or to, won't be this weekend, but we'll see. Maybe next time we come down here. Right, this is Mappen. Spelt me open, but pronounced Mappen. I always wondered how you said this station. We're going to walk back here from the next one, which is only a few hundred yards further on. It's not very far. There's a footbridge coming up now, and this is what we're going to walk over very shortly. That, hopefully. And the path looks a bit mucky, so you better put your trainers on, I think. You walk hiking shoes. Right. Soul Street. This is another tick. So, a short walk just back to Mappham, and then we'll head straight for Sheerness by a sitting bone. Because there's no direct train around that, curve, that last curve. At least not when we need it. See this train out. So we'll be coming back through here on the next train in an hour or so, but it won't be stopping here. Right, well, Soul Street, tick. let's um, exit. Right, this is looking back towards London, not just Victoria, but London as a whole. And uh, that's the way we're going to go a bit later when we rush through here on the next train that we get on at Mapham. So let's uh, head down this way. Decent little bit of car park in there. Soul Street, managed by South Eastern. There's quite a few paths around here. I think there's one down there. Little railway in. Hmm. Not from the serving food yet, but a little bit uh, quiet. Let's go down this way and turn left. We'll have a short stop at that uh, footbridge. I think someone's taking the you-know-what here, don't you? 80 mile an hour, slow... Ah, yes, it is somewhere. You said 30. And someone's uh, stuck something on it to make it look like 80. Right, we're going down there with that red car's coming out. Manor Road. Right, here we are. Now then, which way is it? I think it's down here. It must be, because that other's a, a driveway. Yes, I was right to put my mucky trainers back on, because it's rather dirty and muddy. So it'd be interesting if we saw a freight on here, something like that, something a bit unusual. Right, here we are, the footbridge. The sound may be different now because the little mic has gone flat.
Right. Looking back towards London there. And if we spin around this way. Let's look in. You see Soul Street Station down there? Okay, I think you'll see the footbridge. Right, we're waiting on this footbridge for a couple of trains. Southeastern Expresses. Uh, to and from Victoria and Ramsgate, both the same one in the one direction, one the other way, and then we'll head on to Mapham Station. Okay, so let's uh, film them when they go past. Here's the first one. See, that's got an indentation on the roof uh, if they want to put a pantograph on at some point, haven't they? And here is the up service to Victoria. Someone's done it, he's taking pot shots over there, what they're doing, but uh, anyway, let's grasp this and off we go now. Let's head over to Mapham. This is the part of the path now we saw from the trains. Look at the state of it. I can't believe that guy rode his bike across here. Recenter it. Right, just walked down the main road and uh, there's a bus there, 308 to Gravesend, but we don't want that. I'm just sheltering under a bus stop at the moment, so uh, I spin round, there's a railway tavern there, and I'm at the station straight ahead. So I'll go this way. Ooh, pizza. We've only got a good 10 minutes before the train's due, so I've not got time to have any food of any note here. I want to get to Sittingbourne and Sheerness. I'll do the three stations on the branch in the morning. That will involve taking off another Q station, won't it? Queenborough, hopefully. So here we are. Oh, does that look like an old Network Southeast sign? I think it does. In that, uh, that style, colour. Never seems to point where you want it to point this camera. Right. It's a bit of narrow passage with this to get onto the platform, isn't it? Train just pulling in for Victoria. It's not our train, we're going to the way. Yellow tick station again, I think, same as Soul Street. So you can get it in one way, but not the other. But we're all right. Right, this is our penultimate train of today. Going to Sittingbourne with this train and then changing there for the branch to Sheerness. So this is a service to Dover. So in an eight coach formation, some of them are 12 in the peak hours. It's fairly well loaded. Tick. Let's get to City Board. Ah, <coughs> oh, City Board. We ain't been here for ages. Right, this is an extreme we need now here. 
the branch service, it's only a three or four coach affair. It's just one unit, I think. Very easy change coming from Victoria. Got all London as the whole. Yeah, it's only a three car set, is this? We'll get on near the front, then we're near to the blocks of Sheerness. That's it, so yes, this is our last train now of today, we're staying over at Sheerness, so um, let's just get there now, okay. We've done it, Sheerness on sea, there's the way out, I wonder, oh it's the Isle of Sheppey as well as this isn't it? the way out there. Let's just have a look at platform two before we disappear. Yeah. I don't think they use that side much. Because that's the platform when we did that train that went round the western curve to Gillingham some years ago. And I think we had a front cab ride, although I'm not so sure we did a video. Anyway, let's get to the hotel now. Right, here we are in the Royal Hotel in Sheerness on Sea and the end of day two. So uh, we've done quite a lot today, coming from Hull, up the East Coast, uh, Midland Main Line, and diverted and all that to St Pancras, and then we've had uh, a trip up towards Hendon, done New Brain Cross, West Station, and uh, what else did we do? Um, Crickle Wood, we take that one off, and also we've walked between Soul Street and Mapham, and then we've come up here via Sittingbourne, so, uh, Look forward to the next day now, day three tomorrow, and um, not got an itinerary in mind for tomorrow yet, but uh, I'm sure we'll sort something out. So yeah, cue music, end of day two. Now.